nzuri perfectly given imepewa kukiwa nzuri with no faults ha, haina marekebisho yanayohitajika no mistakes hakuna ubovu Remember this is how God gave the word to Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden. Kumbuka hivi ndivyo Mungu alivompa neno kule hawa bustanini mwa Eden. And they had to stay fortified behind this cool word there. Now an adulterated word. Walipaswa waendelee kudumu katika neno ambalo halijagoshiwa, neno ambalo ndio limewazingira kila wakati. But then the devil came. Lakini ibilisi mara akaja. And he altered just one word. Alafu akapotosha neno moja tu. And the word was no longer pure. Na neno likawa sio safi tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God give us grace. Mungu ametupa neema. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Benham says this. Dr. Benham anasema the word as it was divinely given by the apostle Paul. Hili ni neno lilivyo safi kama lilivyo kabidhiwa kwa mtume Paulo. Paul was the messenger to the first age. Paul alikuwa ndiye mjumbe kwa kizazi cha kwanza. He gave a perfect word. Akampa Nugranam. Nothing wrong with the word. Neno ambalo halina kosa lolote. But then, lakini kisha, he says after my departure. Anasema lakini nikiondoka. Previous wounds will enter. Mbwa mwitu wakali. And will start messing around. Wataingia wataanza kucheza na neno. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise is wonderful. Amen. Amen. Now brother sister amen. This is how the word was handed over. Na ndugu dada, hivi ndivyo neno lilivyokuwa limekabidhiwa likiwa safi. And this is Sasa hili how the word ended up. Ndipo neno lilivyoishia. Men handled by denominational hands. Sasa neno limewekwa mikononi kwa wakimadhehebu. They started allowing women preachers. Wanaanza kuruhusu wanawake kuhubiri kidogo. It wasn't part of the Lakini haikuwa sehemu ya lile neno la asili. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 They Amen. started they started doing things that was wrong. Wakaanza kufanya mambo ambayo ni makosa. Women started cutting their hair. Wanawake walianza kukata nywele zao. It wasn't part of the original. Haikuwa sehemu ya neno la mwanzo. Amen. Amen. And they start losing wakaanza kupoteza what the original word was like in the beginning taswira ya neno halisi hallelujah. hallelujah and this is how the word ended up na hivi ndivyo neno lilivyoonekana mwishoni hallelujah amen shame is aibu it? aibu ni aibu kubwa amen amen but by the grace of god lakini kwa neema ya mungu god did send us a prophet Mungu akatuletea nabii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To do what? Afanye nini? To restore the word. Kurejesha neno. Back to the original. Lirudi kama asili. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God used a person who knows how to rebuild. Mungu alitumia mtu ambaye anajua namna ya kuitengeneza. Hallelujah. Amen. And what are we sitting with today? Sasa leo tuna kitu gani? The restored word. Neno lililorejeshwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Back to the original. Mberejeshwa kwenye lile la asili. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let's give the Lord another wave. Hebu tumpungie Mungu mkono. Hallelujah. Amen. I like the way you are waving. Napenda hivi mnavyopunga mikono. I was at another church. Nilikuwa hapo kanisani kanisa fulani. Some people were getting tired and asleep. Nikaona watu fulani wanachoka na kusinzia. My brother so I said let's give the Lord a wake. Ndugu yangu akasema hebu tumuinulie bwana mikono. They were doing this. Wakao wananyanyua kweli kweli. And later I says let's give the Lord another wave of it. Nikamwambia hebu sasa tutumpe bwana aina nyingine ya kupunga. They were doing this. Wakao wanafanya hivyo. Wanapungia kwenye tumbo. Amen. Keep it keep it here down low. Hapa kidogo kidogo tu hivi. Was no longer over there. Hawaendelee kunyanyua mikono kwa furaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Now we want to speak on the restoration. Tunataka kuzungumza juu ya kurejeshwa kwa neno lote. Amen. Amen. Now in the picture you saw how this Mercedes Benz was damaged. Sasa mmeona jinsi kwenye picha hii Mercedes Benz ambayo ilikuwa imeharibiwa. It was parked on the side of the road. Ilikuwa imewekwa kando ya njia. Every window was broken. Na kila dirisha limepuvunjwa. The fender was torn off. Na hata vitu vingi vimevimolewa. The side mirror was broken off. Na ile eh, kioo cha kutazamia nyuma kimengolewa. The seats were torn and tattered. Na kila kitu vitu vimechoka na taa eh taa ya mbele ilikuwa imefungwa taa za pembeni zote zimevunjwa na kila kitu kilikuwa kimesinyaa hebu nikwambie kitu when the denominational world was finished with the word the word was looking like that na madhehebu yalipojaribu kushughulika na neno neno lilikuwa na taswira hiyo I was 
just listening to a guy. Nilikuwa namsikiliza tu jamaa mmoja. He was a a, a a bishop. Alikuwa ni askofu. He left his wife. Akaacha mke. God married to another. Akawa wa pili. And then they promoted him. Wakampa cheo zaidi. To an archbishop. Akawa askofu mkuu. You go and sin and yet you get promoted. Yaani unapiga talaka na cheo unapewa. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Brother, ndugu. Brother Benham says. Ndugu Brana anasema. If it's not in the word, haipo kwenye neno. Haipo. Hallelujah. Wala sitaki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. A sister came to me from a denominational church. Dada mmoja kutoka nisaka madhehebu alikuja kwangu. She told me. Akaniambia Somebody prophesied in the church the priest. Kuna mtu alitoa unabii kwenye kanisa huko Jumapili. Amen and the prophecy was. Amina na ule unabii uliko unasema pastor must leave his wife his old wife. Mchungaji amwache yule mke wake. And get married to a younger wife. Aoe binti mdogo mdogo. She asked me my opinion. She asked me for my opinion. Ananiuliza maoni yangu nasemaje? I said to her absolute lies. Nikamwambia huo ni uongo mkamilifu. That cannot be of God. It cannot be of God. Haiwezi kuwa ni jambo la kiungo. It cannot be Bible. Haiwezi kuwa la kibiblia. God said. Mungu alisema. Whosoever brother sister if he joins a man and a woman together. Yeah yeah, Mungu anapounganisha mume na mke pamoja. No man ever put them together. Mungu ndiye yote asitenganishe. He says I'm God. Anasema mimi ni Mungu. Nachukia talaka. How can you take something that's not the word? Na hilo ndio neno. And try and make it a word. Alafu wanajaribu kuliingilia namna tofauti. God have mercy. Hiyo ni Mungu awe na neema. Oh God help us saints. Mungu atusaidie watakatifu. Amen. Amen. Restore. Kurejesha is the act of taking something back. Ni kitendo cha kurudisha kitu fulani mahali pake. To restore the word is to take the word back to what it was. Kurejesha neno ni kurirudisha neno lilivyokuwa. Amen. Amen. Return the word to the former glory. Lirudishe neno kwenye utukufu wake wa zamani. Amen. Amen. That Mercedes Benz was returned to Ile Mercedes Benz ilirudishwa kwenye utukufu wake wa zamani. It looked like it looked as in the beginning. Ikaonekana kama ilivyokuwa mpya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So may God give us grace. Mungu na atujalie neema. We are grateful. Sisi tuni watu wa shukrani. Tupo katika wakati ndugu ambapo neno lote limerejeshwa. Kwa kile ambacho lilivyokuwa mwanzoni. Haleluya. Jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Amen. Jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Amen. Mungu anatujalie rehema. Mungu yule yule who can restore an alcoholic ambaye anaweza akamrejesha mlevi awe mtakatifu anaweza kamchukua kahaba fulani akamfanya binti mteule kumbuka ndugu Branham alizungumza juu ya Rosela Rosela she was an alcoholic alikuwa ni mlevi kupindukia alikuwa ni kahaba kupindukia lakini Mungu alimrudisha akamleta Ndugu Branham anasema yule pale ameketi amerejeshwa kwa mwanamke halisi na sasa ni mke wa mtungaji Mungu anaweza karejesha mahali pake Alifanya nini na maisha ya wanadamu Amesha kifanya sasa hivi tena He restored the word. Yeye yeah, anarejesha neno lote. Hallelujah. Amen. I will restore said the Lord. Itarejesha hivi asema Bwana. All the years. Miaka yote. Amen that the canker worm. Ambayo hao wadudu. Amen. Has wa, eaten. Wamekula. God will give it back. Mungu atairudisha. Listen to this quotation. Sikiliza hii nuku. First seal. Katika muhuri wa kwanza. Amen. Amen. Rabbanum says. Bwana anasema. Then kisha through these katika vizazi hivi vyote vya, vipindi vyote vya kanisa there is a great mess up kumekuwa na mchafuko kubwa kupitia nyakati sita za kanisa mchafuko mkubwa then at the end of the church age lakini mwishoni mwa kizazi the seventh angel message ujumbe wa malaika wa saba is to pick up ni kuzichukua all the lost mysteries siri zote zilizopotea restore na kuzirejesha and give it back to the church na kumpa kanisa hallelujah 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 brother Benham never came to show off 
His job was so important. Kazi yake ilikuwa ni ya muhimu kuliko. He came to restore the He came to restore the messed up world. Alikuja kurejesha neno lilo kwa limegoshiwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And brother sister amen we are so privileged tonight. Na ndugu dada amina leo tumependelewa sana. Amen. Amen. Brother Benham says the many many of the things in the Bible got lost. Mambo mengi kwenye Biblia yalikuwa yamepotoshwa. Amen. Amen. But what was needed in our day? Lakini siku yetu tulihitaji nini? Was for God to give a prophet. Tulimhitaji Mungu amlete yule nabii who could sort out the mess. Ambaye angeweza kutenganisha uchafu. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Go, gonna read something to you now. Tasomeni kitu fulani mali fulani. You see, Brother no. Benham says. Ndugu wangu anasema, these bucks of devastation. He minyo ya uozo. The canker worm, the palmer worm. Wadudu hawa. Whatever the one word left, uh, one bug left. Chochote ambacho eh mtu ulijaribu kubakiza, the other one came along and eat. Dudu mwingine alikuja akala chote. Then Methodist came and they eat. Huyu nani anajaribu kubakiza? Mdudu anakuja anakula chote. Lutherans came and they eat some. Huyu anabakiza lakini anakuja anakula chote. The Pentecostals came. Pentecostal ikaja. And they came and eat up more of the world. Wakaja wakala neno lingi zaidi. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But right at the end. Lakini mwishoni kabisa. God made a promise. Mungu akatimiza ahadi. I will restore the world. Nitarejesha neno lote. How it was originally. Kama lilivyokuwa vile mwanzo. By the apostle Paul. Lilivyoletwa na mtume Paulo. I will bring it back. Nitalileta vile vile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Barikiwe jina lake la ajabu. Amen. Amen. The original word was reduced to a stump. Na neno lile la asili lilitafunwa mpaka likabakia kisiki. Listen to what Brother Ben. Sikiliza ndugu wangu Second seal. Muhuri wa pili. He says but oh my. Sema oh jaman. But remember. Lakini kumbukeni. Seeing all the condition. Kuona hali zote hizi. The condition of the church. Hali ya kanisa ilivyo. The condition of the world. Kanisa hali ya ulimwengu. But yet. Lakini hata hivyo. God promise in Job. Mungu aliahidi katika Yoeli. 2:25. 2:25. If you want to put it down. Kama nataka kuandika. In the last days. Katika siku za mwisho. Katika wakati wa mwisho. Katika siku yetu. Amen. Amen. He said brother sister. Inasema ndugu dada. Kile kilicho ebakizwa na na huyu mdudu katapila akala. Alicho ebakiza. Madumadu akala. What the locust eaten. Na alicho kula madumadu. On down. Huyu kuendelea kula tu. Bug after bug. Ni mdudu baada ya mdudu. They have come to eat on the church. Wamekuja kulitafuna kanisa. Until it was finally brother sister even nothing but a stump. Mbaka kanisa likabakia kuwa kakisiki kadogo. The life of the word was eaten up. Uhai wa neno ulikuwa umetafunwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, watch what the Romans left. Asema, angalia walichoacha Warumi. The Lutherans eat. Waluteri wa kakila chote. What the Lutherans left. Na kilichoachwa na Waluteri. The Methodists. Wa Methodist wa kakila chote. And what the Methodists left. Na walicho albakizo wa Methodist. The Pentecost wa Pentecost wa kala chote. Until it's down to a stump. Mbaka wakabakiza kisiki cha mti. And do you know what? Na mpaka unajua ni nini? You talk take these worms in there. Angalia hao wadudu kule. Uh, the locusts and the caterpillar and so forth. Madumadu, palale na hao wengine. And chase them down through. Ebu wafu, the book. Wafuatilie kitabu chote. You will find out. Utaona it is the same worm. Ni mdudu yule yule in different stages. Akiwa katika hatua tofauti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same worm were eating away on the Ndudu yule yule anayekula tangu mwanzo anabadilisha hatua tu. Hallelujah. Amen. What started? Kilicho anz. As the full word of God. Kama neno la Mungu linakamilika. As the pure word of God. Kama kilicho anza neno lolo kamilika. As a perfect word. Kile kilicho anza kama neno lolo kamilika. And adulterated word. Ambalo lijagoshiwa neno la Mungu. In the beginning. Hapo mwanzo. Ended. Likaishia. Amen. Amen. As nothing but a stump. Kama si kitu chochote isipokuwa kisiki no kidogo. Hakina uhai kisiki eating away. Kimeliwa mbali. By the same bug. Na dudu yule yule. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But God said I will. Lakini Mungu anasema nitarejesha. Hallelujah. Na hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Amen. Oh God have mercy. Mungu awe mwingi wa rehema. Amen. Amen. 
the word of God was broken. Neno la Mungu lilivunjwa. Because they failed to keep it original. Kwa sababu walishindwa kulitunza katika hali yake. What is the spoken word? Neno lilovunjwa ni nini? The original seed. Ndio mbegu ya asili. You shall eat of all the trees. Mnaweza mkala ya miti yote. But the tree in the midst of the garden. Lakini isipokuwa mti wa katikati. You must not touch. Msiuguse. Because that day kwa sababu hiyo siku you will surely die. Mtakufa hakika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when they ate of the tree, na walipojaribu kula ule mti, the original word was broken. Neno la asili likawa limefunjwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And brother, na ndugu, we need the restoration of the word. Tunahitaji urejesho wa neno lote. Let's give the Lord a wave of praise. Hebu tumpigie tumfungie Mungu mikono. Brabenum says. Bana manasema. Church is book. Katika kitabu cha nyakati za kanisa. This is the problem. Anasema hili ndio tatizo. People take a little bit away here. Watu wanachukua neno fulani hapa zuri. Wanaongezea zuri lingine huku. He says and then later the word is no longer pure. Wanasema mwishowe neno haliwi halisi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Women can preach just as, as good as men. Sawa, wana wanasema, wanawake wanaweza kuhubiri vizuri kama wanaume. Sometimes they even preach better than men. Na mwingine wanahubiri hata vizuri zaidi ya wanaume. Give us the chance to come here. Ha, mpe dada nafasi aje hapa. I tell you. Nakwambia, some of the men will have to keep going. Kuna wanaume wengine watabaki wamedua. I don't care how well she can. Mimi sijali anahubiri vizuri kiasi gani. She gets behind the bulwark. Akija nyume ya mimbara. She's outside the wall of God. Yupo nje ya neno. Regardless of her gift. Sijali ana kipawa cha namna gani? Paul says I suffer women not to teach. Paul anasema ninawaamuru no. wanawake wasifundishe. No you serve authority over men. Wala msiwe na mamlaka she juu ya wanaume. Quiet in the church. Kaeni kimya katika kanisa. Save the Bible. Hivi asema Biblia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No wonder God has raised up a prophet. Na si ajabu Mungu amemuinua nabii. He was just like John the Baptist. Alikuwa kama Yohana Mbatizaji. He wasn't ashamed to stand for what's written. Alikuwa aoni haya kusimamia kilichoandikwa humo. John was standing in front of a king. Yohana alikuwa anaweza kumfuata mfalme. He said it's not right for you to live with your brother's wife. Anasema sio haki unakaa na mna shemeji yako. They took off his head. Wakafika kichwa chake. But he stood for truth. Lakini alisimamia ukweli. He stood for the word. Alisimamia neno. Hallelujah. Amen. Our prophet. Our prophet. Ndabii wetu. Another John the Baptist. Achana na Yohana Mbatizaji. Another Elijah. Kama Elia. Wasn't afraid to say. Hakuogopa kusema chochote. Jack Kennedy. J Kennedy. It's wrong for you to cut your hair. Haifai mama wewe kukata hizo nywele. You introduced both there to the nation. You introduce Bob there cut your hair. Wewe utafanya wanawake wote kwenye taifa wakate nywele. It was wrong. Ilikuwa ni makosa. The Bible says a woman. Biblia inasema kwa mwanamke not to cut her hair. Hasi kukata nywele. I don't want to go that direction but maybe I'll say it here. It's more a problem in in South Africa than what it is. Nimeona hilo ni tatizo kubwa sana Afrika Kusini kuliko hapa. Do you know there's a quotation where Brother Brenham says? Unajua kuna nukuu ambayo ndugu Brenham anasema? A woman there nywele ya mwanamke equals ni sawa na the Nazarite vow of kiapo cha kinadharayo Samson was not supposed to cut his Samson hair Samson yakupaswa kukata nywele zake Samson was not supposed to touch his kama ambavyo wadadi wa wadada mpasu kusema nywele zao Nazarite vow hicho ni kiapo hallelujah amen and Samson was not supposed to touch her na Samson yakupaswa kuzikata nywele Sisters I don't care. Wadada mimi sijali. Your hair may not be straight. Labda nywele zako hazijanyoka. Leave it like that. Iache kama ilivyo. Put the scissors away. Iache hivyo hivyo. Hallelujah. The moment you cut your hair. Pale unapokata tu. Rabenam says it's Rabenam a, sign a sign that you don't honor your husband no more. Hiyo ni ishara kwamba haumilikiwi na mumewe te, mumeo tena. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Men are serving in the Pentecostal churches. I hope they don't serve around here. Kuna wanaume kule kwenye makanisa ya Pentecost na amini hawapo kwenye makanisa ya huku. Being married four, five, six times. Ameoa mara 4, 5, 6 times. The Bible says a husband. Sema, mume. A bishop must be the husband of one wife. Mwangalizi ni mume wa mke mmoja. Amen. That's the word. Hilo ni neno. 
We are not going to break the word for anything. Hatutalivunja hilo neno hata siku moja. Let's be like Mary. Kama tuko Mariamu. Mary said be unto me. Mariamu alisema na iwe kwangu. According to thy word. Akulingana na neno lako bwana. If it's word. Ni neno lako. Embrace it. Nalikumbatia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. The true baptism Ubatizo wa kweli ni katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Ubatizo mwingine wote ngo mama anasema si sawa. Wakaanza kutumia vyeo badala ya lile jina. Hilo ni kinyume na neno. Hilo ni kuvunja neno. Hilo ni nje ya neno. Lazima ubatizwe katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Haleluya. Brother sister ndugu dada all these things are totally against the word haya mambo yote yamewekwa yako hewazi kabisa kwenye neno now i'm getting to my message now i'm getting to my message hivi ndivyo sasa naingia kwenye ujumbe wangu paul said paulo anasema he said i laid the foundation mimi nimejenga msingi hallelujah hallelujah can we have an amen sense can we say amen tunaweza kusema amina kwa hilo paul said paulo anasema Mimi nimejenga msingi. And any of you builders that comes after Na yoyote wenyewe ndugu atakaye kuja baada yangu. Angalieni msingi wangu. Amen. Hallelujah. Check out my foundation. Angalia msingi wangu. Check how I went about. Angalia nilivyojenga. Follow my fuata way of building. Namna ninavyojenga. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He knew that the word It says after my departures grievous wolves will Na alisema baada ya kuondoka kwangu mbwa mbitu wakali wataingia. They will mess up the word. Na wale walikuwa pale wakilivgarifu neno. Amen. Oh but praise God. Amen. God says in the end. Mungu alisema mwishoni. He will send the prophet. Atamtuma nabii. That will not compromise on the Ambaye hatajadiliana na neno. He won't care what the world. Hajali ulimwengu unamjali vipi? Brother Branham said. Branham anasema. If it's 99% word kama ni 99% yes, neno hiyo asilimio moja iliyo kumakosani anasema achana na jambo hilo anataka asilimia mia moja ya neno haleluya haleluya praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe amen in our day and age in our day and age katika siku zetu a desperate need of restoration katika zamani kulikuwa na uhitaji mwingi wa kurejeshwa But because the word was broken kwa sababu neno lilikuwa limevunjwa What does the Bible says brother who does the word comes comes to Amos If Amos inasemaje neno humjia nani nabii the prophet praise the lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hallelujah Hallelujah The word was broken neno lilivunjwa restoration sasa urejesho can only be done by Unaweza kufanya una a prophet nabii Hebu mpungieni bwana makofi ya shangazi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The restoration must be done by a prophet. Urejesho lazima ufanywe na nabii. The foundation was laid by apostle Paul. Msingi ulijengwa na mtume Paulo? Who was a prophet? Alikuwa nabii mmoja. Can we say amen? Tunaweza kusema amina. Paul was a prophet. Je, nabii ali Paulo alikuwa ni nabii? The word was messed up by reformers and, and neno lilichanganywa na watengenezaji. But in the end lakini mwishoni a prophet nabii tena a word prophet nabii wa neno was needed alihitajika kulirejesha neno kwenye hali yake hallelujah hallelujah glory to god tukufu kwa mungu amen amen praise is wonderful name jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe now the word was perfectly given neno lilikabidhiwa likiwa kamilifu by the apostle paul kuna mtume paulo who was the wise master builder yeye alikuwa ndiye mjenzi mwenye busara kuliko wote ndipo akaliweka msingi wa neno paul anasema he says even if i anasema hata mimi mwenyewe hao malaika kutoka mbinguni come akija and say anything akasema chochote kinyume na nilichosema ambacho kimesema kwenye neno he says let him be a curse anasema na alaniwe hallelujah He laid the foundation. Alishamaliza kuweka msingi. The denominational world messed up the word. Japokuwa ulimwengu wa kimadhehebu ulilia 
karibu neno. Brother Venom says that's the reason why we sit with marriage and divorce issues. Hasema ndio maana ndo bwana moyo matatizo yakiwa yamekuwa yakiendelea kila wakati. It is because of misinterpreted theology. Ni kwa sababu ya kutokufasili neno kisahihi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. The apostle Paul cautioned future builders. Sasa mtume Paulo akawaonya wajenzi wa baadaye. He says if you come after me. Akisema kama mtakuja baada yangu, don't forget the blueprint. Msisahau ramani. What does the Bible say? Biblia imesemaje? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yo. Praise the Lord. When I was feel, I begin to feel excited now. Naanza kujisikia vizuri sasa. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, unaona what the master builder has laid down. Yule mjenzi mkuu alichokianzisha. The builders that came afterwards. Wajenzi wanaofuata baadaye. They begin to drift away from. Wakaanza kuachana na ramani kuu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They no longer stood with the raw original word. Hawajasimama na neno la asili. Just like Eve in the garden of Eden. Kama nilivyokuwa tu hawa katika bustani ya Eden. They gave up the word. Waliliachilia neno. For what the devil led to offer. Kwa kile ambacho ibilisi aliwapelekea. Amen. Amen. Brother and the church ended up in a mess. Na kanisa likaishia kwenye mchafuko. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You you cannot lose out if you stick Huwezi kulipoteza kama utalishikilia vema. You cannot lose out if you stick with the original. Huwezi kulipoteza kama utabaki na la asili. You cannot lose out if you stick with the foundation. Huwezi kulipoteza kama utabaki na ule msingi uliopewa. God said I laid the foundation. Baada ya yeye kujenga msingi. Not even an angel can change. Akasema hata malaika akija. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you'll understand why I'm excited. Sasa mtaelewa kwa nini nimechangamka. There's only one man. You come to mmoja tu. There's only one servant of God. You come to miss mmoja tu wa Mungu. Who scream out. Ambaye anaweza katoa yote hii. I have preached what Paul preached. Akasema, nimehubiri Paulo alichohubiri. Hallelujah. He stuck to what the master builder said. He stuck to what the master builder said. Alianzia pale ambapo mjenzi mkuu alisema. He says I preach what Paul preached. Akasema nimehubiri Paul alichohubiri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said he approximated approximated the, the apostle Paul. Akasema nimehubiri kama Paulo. You see? Unaona? The prophet looked. Nabii alitazama. And he saw what Paul said. Aliona Paulo alichokihubiri. He says I preach. This. Akasema na mimi nihubiri hivi hivi. I don't care what the world has said. Sijali ulimwengu unasemaje? You held on to the word. Wewe ulishikilia lile neno la asili. I have preached. Nimehubiri what Paul preached. Kile Paulo alichohubiri. And the people were saying. Na watu wanasema. We are resting on that. Tumepumzika kwa ajili ya hilo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Restoration was needed. Rejesho litajika. When the church was all messed up. Wakati kanisa lilikuwa kwenye mchafuko. And there was only one way to do it. Na namna moja kurejesha ni moja. A prophet laid the foundation. Nabii alishajenga msingi. The apostle Paul. Mtume Paulo. The wise man Ahasuerus. Mjenzi mwenye busara kuliko wote. And in order to restore to bring back that word. Na ili uweze kurejesha neno lile lile. We needed a prophet. Tulihitaji nabii tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We needed a prophet. Tulihitaji nabii tena. For the restoration of the word. Kwa kuwa urejesho wa neno. To turn the word back to its origin. Kurejesha neno kwenye asili yake. A prophet. Na bi a divine interpreter of the word. Mfasiri wa kiungu wa neno la Mungu. Alihitajika to restore the word. Ili arejeshe neno lote. Can we give the Lord a wave for? Hebu mpungie bwana mkono wa furaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. A prophet was needed. Na bi alihitajika. Martin Luther couldn't restore the word. Martin Luther asingeweza kurudisha neno. John Wesley. John Wesley asingeweza kurejesha neno. Irenaeus couldn't restore the word. Irenaeus. Irenaeo asingeweza kurejesha neno. Need a prophet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Let's read something. Hebu tusome kitu fulani. Amen something that a brother just said. Kitu fulani ambacho ndugu alijibu hapa. Christ is the mystery of God revealed. Ndugu hapa anasema Kristo ndiye siri ya Mungu aliyefunuliwa. Listen to how powerful this quotation is. Angalia jinsi inakuwa ilivyo na nguvu nyingi. He says and the word comes only to the prophet. Anasema na neno huja tu kwa nabii. The word prophet means Neno nabii humaanisha a revealer of the divine written word. 
Ufunuzi wa neno lililoandikwa kiungu. Glory to God, amen. Tukufu kwa Mungu amina. I feel excited. Ajisikia vizuri. Bila mfunuzi of the divine written word. Wa neno lililoandikwa kiungu. That's what a prophet is. Huyo ndiye nabii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here's another quotation. Hapa ipo nuku nyingine. Amen. Amen. Brother Adam says in katika kitabu cha nyakati za kanisa He says who then will have the power of infallibility. Ni wakina nani sasa walikuwa na nguvu ambazo hazishindwi. Which is to be restored. Ambayo hiyo nguvu ilipaswa irejeshwe. In the days katika siku za in the last katika siku za kizazi cha mwisho. The last age is going back to kizazi cha mwisho kinarudi kwenye fasting ku linarudi kwenye nini kulidhihirisha a pure word brand. Neno safi. That means hiyo inamaanisha we will have the word once again tutakuwa nalo neno tena hallelujah hallelujah let me just read that quotation that part again labda nisome hiyo nuku tena we will have the word once again tutakuwa na neno mara nyingine tena as it was perfectly given ta kama lilivyokabidhiwa pale mwanzo and perfectly understood na litaeleweka as in the days of Paul. Kama lilivyoeleweka siku za Paulo. Hallelujah. I preach what Paul preached. Na ubiri Paulo alichobiri. We are the word once again. Sisi tumefanyika neno tena. Perfectly given. Perfectly given. Tume neno latolewa na nabii. Perfectly understood. Na limeeleweka kinabii. Are you ready for this? Jembo tayari kusikiliza hii. Fasten your seat belts. Haya kazeni mikanda yenu. Listen to this. Sikilizeni hii. It will be a prophet. Itamuhitaji nabii as thoroughly vindicated. Aliyethibitishwa kikamilifu or even more thoroughly vindicated. Au aliyethibitishwa zaidi ya kikamilifu than was any prophet. Kuliko nabii mwingine yeyote in all the ages. Kwa nyakati zote from Enoch kutokea Henoko until our day. Mpaka siku yetu Amen. Amen. Because this man, Kusababu, huyu mtu, Amen. Amen. Well of necessity. Atakuwa na umuhimu have the capstone prophetic ministry. Atakuwa na umuhimu wa huduma ya jiwe la kifuniko la kinabii. And God will show him forth. Na ndiye Mungu atakayemleta. He won't need to speak for himself. Hatajisemea yeye mwenyewe. God will speak for him. Mungu atamnena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will speak for him by the voice of the sign. Mungu atazumzungumza kupitia yeye kwa sauti ya ishara. Hallelujah. God has given us a vindicated prophet. Mungu ametupa nabii aliyethibitishwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A prophet nabii that spoke the word. Ambaye amenena neno. And then he walked away. Alafu akaondoka. And then God will come down. Ndipo Mungu akashuka. He says what you've heard. Sema kile mlichosikia. It's only his voice. Ni sauti yake tu. I am the one that's. Mimi ndiye nilizungumza kupitia yule. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God spoke through the prophet. Mungu ndiye aliyenena kupitia nabii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. A divine interpreter of the word. Mfunuzi wa kiungu wa neno la Mungu. Amen. Enoch was our type. Na Enoch ni mfano wetu. Amen. Amen. Enoch was the seventh after Adam. Alikuwa ni wa saba baada ya Adam. We are the seventh after. Na sisi ni wa saba baada ya Tume Paulo. Amen. 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 The rapture couldn't happen in the days of Paul. The rapture couldn't happen in. Na kwa usingeweza kuja siku za Paulo. That was the first issue. Kilikuwa ni kipindi cha kwanza cha kanisa. It couldn't happen then. Wala usingetokea kule. It could only happen in the days of Enoch. Usinge ulitokea siku tu za Enoch. Enoch is our type. Na Enoch ni mfano wetu. Enoch is the seventh after the first. Enoch ni wa saba baada ya kwanza. Enoch walked with God. Enoch alitembea na Mungu. Na hatua zake zikaenda juu. He started walking there. Akaanza kutembea kwenye mawingu. Enoch was changed. Enoch alibadilishwa. Enoch was translated. Enoch alibadilishwa mwili. Mwili wa Enoch ulibadilishwa. Mwili wako utabadilishwa. Kwa sababu hiki ni kipindi cha saba. It couldn't happen in the days of Paul. Haikutokea siku za Paulo. It had to happen in our days. Lazima itokee siku ya saba. Unaona je watu? There were still six more church ages. Kulikuwa na zile nyakati sita. They were living for it. 
They were expecting it. But it couldn't happen. Guess what? Verse 13. It had to wait for your day. It had to wait for your day. It couldn't happen in the days of old. It can happen now. Because you are living in the days of old. Because you are living in the days of old. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Imagine Martin Luther. He knew nothing about the rapture. He knew nothing about the rapture. The word had to be restored. Neno lipaswa lirejeshwe kwanza. But the rapture can take place. Ndipo unakuwa unaweza ukatukia. Hallelujah. The Bible says Enoch never tasted death. Biblia inasema Henoko hakuyaonja mauti. Enoch never had a funeral. Henoko hajawahi kuona msiba. There was there was no pastor my brother. Hakukuwa na mambo mchungaji kaka yangu at the open grave of Enoch. Kusimama katika kaburi lilofunuliwa la Enoch. Took some ground. Wachukue Udongo kwa udongo. Majivu kwa majivu. The man never died. Yule mtu kamwe hakufa. The man was changed. Alibadilishwa. He was translated. Kaburi wake ulibadilishwa. He was raptured. Alinyakuliwa. He was taken up. Alitwaliwa. Enoch walked with God. Enoch alitembea na Mungu. God changed him. Mungu akambadilisha. And God took him away. Mungu akaondoka naye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you happy that God? Jem nafurahia bibi harusi. You are not going to die. Hautakufa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are Enoch's entity. Wewe ni mfano halisi wa Enoko. Just like Enoch. Kama Enoch tu. Keep walking with God. Endelea kutembea na Bwana. Keep walking with God. Endelea kutembea na Bwana. Obey his word. Wewe kila wakati. Love the word. Ishi neno. Enoch obeyed the word. Enoch alilitii neno. God translated him. Mungu akambadilisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Barikiwe jina lake la ajabu. Praise the Lord. Restoration could only happen. Urejesho ungetokea tu in our day. Katika siku yetu. Why? Kwa nini? Because we needed a divine interpreter. Kwa sababu tulimhitaji mfasiri wa kiungu wa neno la Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God raised up a prophet. Ndipo Mungu akatuletea nabii. A divine interpreter of the word. Mfasiri wa kiungu wa neno la Mungu. And he was responsible for restoring the world. Naye aliwajibika na kazi ya kulirejesha neno. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to close. Na karibia kufunga. Now let me just read a quotation or two and then we're going to close. Baba ni some ni kumbili tu alafu nitafunga. God has reserved. Mungu ametunza. It was Martin Luther. Ilikuwa ni Martin Luther who was once reading the Bible. Ambaye alikuwa alikuwa anasoma Biblia. And brother, he came across. Ndugu akakutana na some stuff that he didn't Mambo ambayo asingeweza kuelewa. He was blind. Alikuwa ni kipofu. He took the Bible. Kachukua Biblia. Threw it against the wall. Akaitupa ukutani. He was a church's messenger. Alikuwa ndio mjumbe huyo. But the things that he was reading Lakini mambo anayoyasoma was not for his day. Hayakuwa kwa ajili ya siku yake. We have to wait for the prophet to come. Nilipaswa yamngojee nabii wakati wa mwisho. Listen to what Brother Benham says. Kiza machi Lubrana anasema. There were so many loose ends in the Bible. Kuna vitu vingi vimeachiliwa achiliwa kwenye Biblia. The word was messed up. Neno lilikuwa limegoshiwa. Listen to what the prophet says. Kiza machi Lubrana He says now watch. Sasa sasa angalia. There's a lot of truth lost. Kuna ukweli mwingi uliopotezwa. Out there in the word. Pale kwenye neno. Why? Kwa nini? Because others compromised with the word. Sababu wengine wanajadiliana na neno. They compromised with truth. Wanajadiliana na ukweli. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Na lakini ajabu libarikiwe. He says, "Oh God, have mercy." Sema na Mungu wa mwingi wa rehema. He says, "But this seventh angel lakini huyu malaika wa saba. Don't compromise with nothing. Hajadiliani na chochote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
He gathers up all the loose ends. Ame kusanya masalia yote aliyoachwa. Gathers them all up. Ame kusanya kuyaunganisha vizuri. At his sounding. Katika kupiga kwake baragumu. At the sounding of his message. Na baragumu ni ujumbe wake. And all the mysteries of God. Na ujumbe wote wa Mungu will be finished. Utatimizwa. Oh God. Oh God. Send him. Amemtuma. He was sent. Alitumwa nabii. We have heard his message. Nasi tumeusikia ujumbe wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says all of the hidden mysteries. Na nasema siri zote alizo in the Bible. Zizo kwa kwenye Biblia. Is finished. Zimetimizwa. It was revealed. Zilifunuliwa to him. Kwake. By what? Kwa kutumia nini? If this hidden mysteries. Na kama hizi siri zote kwa zimefichwa. The man will have to be a prophet. Huyu mtu alilazimika awe ni nabii. The man had to be a prophet. Huyu mtu alilazimika awe ni nabii. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. A divine interpreter of the written word. Mfasili wa kiungu wa neno alitajika. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Bwana Yesu says and that will come at the last age. Na ndio Bwana anasema huyu atakuja wakati wa mwisho. What is this age? Na hichi ni kizazi kipi? The fifth church. Cha kwanza. The sixth church. Cha sita. The fourth. Cha nne. This is the last church age. Hiki ni kizazi cha mwisho cha kanisa. There's no more church ages. Hakuna kizazi kingine cha kanisa. We have run out of church ages. Nyakati zimekwisha. The prophet has been on the scene. Na nabii ametokea uwanjani. The divine interpreter. Mfasiri wa kiungu wa neno la Mungu. Has opened up the mysteries. Ameisha maliza siri zote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Amen. Let me read a final quote and then we can close. Naweza kusoma na kuya mwisho. Kisha tutamaliza. Amen. The bridge Barabenum says. Lile pengo ndiye anasema na sasa we know that the book of redemption. Tunajua kwamba kitabu cha ukombozi will not be thoroughly understood. Hakitaeleweka wazi wazi. Are you together? Can Tuko pamoja. Au tusome tena. Redemption. Kitabu cha ukombozi will not be thoroughly understood. Hakitaeleweka wazi wazi. It's proved it kina jaribishwa jaribishwa previous guess labda ni hivi through six churches nyakati sita za kanisa but at the end lakini mshoni when the seventh angel begins wakati to start wakati malaika wa 7 atakavyoanza kupiga siri zake he wounds up all the losers atakusanya masalia yote that the reformers have proved ambayo watengenezaji waliacha and the mysteries comes down from god as the word of god na siri zitashuka chini kama neno la mungu and reveals the entire revelation na yatafunua ufunua wote wa mungu amen then the godhead katika ule uungu and everything else na kila kitu atakiweka sawa There's been a prophet on the land. Amekuepo nabii katika nchi. We know. Tunajua. Melchizedek became Jesus Christ. Melchizedek alifanyika bwana Yesu Kristo. We understand. Tunaelewa. The Godhead. Uungu ni nini? We understand. Tunaelewa. Uzao wa nyoka ni nini? Talking about serpent seed. Unazungumza juu ya uzao wa nyoka. Bible student came to me one day. Mwanafunzi wa Biblia wakati fulani alinijia. Amen. And he said Amen. to me. Naye akaniambia. He said you know William Branham. Akasema We William Branham just like uh, Muhammad of the Muslims kama Muhammad wa Waislam and Joseph Smith of the Mormons na yule Yusufu wa dini nyingine ile they hide behind it was revealed unto them wao wanajificha ficha nyuma ya kitu kilichofunuliwa so they can say anything you can't question them because it was revealed <laughs> kwa hiyo wana uwezo kusema chochote huwezi kukihoji kwa sababu wanakuambia nimefunuliwa so he wanted to speak about Serpency. Hivi akataka kuzungumza juu ya muuri wa saba. He says no idea. Akasema hakuna wazo. What Brother Brenham says about the seed of the serpent. Juu ya ndugu Brenham anasema juu ya ule uzao wa nyoka. He says there's no truth. Anasema hajasema kweli ni muongo. I ask him a simple question. Nikamuuliza swali la hisi. I haven't been to Bible school. Nikamwambia mimi sijapitia chuo cha Biblia. Been to Bible school. Wewe umepitia chuo cha Biblia. You have distributed thousands of Bibles. Umegawa maelfu ya Biblia. He says I haven't been to Bible. Nikasema mimi hata sijafika chuoni kwenye Biblia. Can I ask you a question? Hebu nikuulize swali moja. He says when God cursed Adam, the woman and the serpent. Wakati Mungu anamlaani Adam, mwanamke na nyoka. Do you believe that God cursed them? Hivi unaamini Mungu aliwalaani? When God cursed them, Mungu alipowalaani, 
a lot of things changed. Mambo mengi yalibadilika. He says for the woman. Sema wanawake. You will bring forth children in pain. Utazaa kwa uchungu. That is your punishment. Hiyo ndiyo adhabu uliyopewa. He said to Adam. Adam akamwambia nini? Because of you. Kwa sababu yako wewe. Curse is the earth on your. Imelaaniwa ardhi. That was his punishment. Hiyo ndiyo adhabu yake. Sasa kwa jasho ndiyo utakula. You put food on the table. Utaweka chakula mezani kwa chungu. Lazima ufanye kazi kwa shida. Stand like this. Lazima uwe umekomaa. Upigwe na jua ndio ule. And then he said to the serpent. Na serpent aliambiwa nini? Because you have done this. Kwa sababu umefanya hili. You will go from an upright being. Utaondoka kuwa kiumbe kinachosimama. Down. Utakuwa kiumbe kinachotambaa. But there I caught him. Lakini nikamnasa pale. He said akasema I don't believe that. Mimi siamini hilo. He says then you don't believe the Bible. Nikamwambia basi uamini Biblia. I just read it to you. Akasema hiyo nimekusomea tu. He was cursed into the condition of being a crawling. He was a beast. Alikuwa ni mnyama anayetembea na miguu miwili. But God cursed him to become a Akalaaniwa kuwa mnyama anaanza kutambaa. A serpent on the ground. Sapenti kwenye ardhi. I said unless you agree with what the Bible. Nikamwambia Vinginevyo ukubaliane na kinachosema Biblia. I'm sorry I've got nothing to discuss with you. Nikasema sina cha kujadili hapo na wewe. The argument was over. Na mabishano yakawa yameisha. I says until you agree that the, the the serpent was cursed into that condition. Nikamwambia mpaka uamini kwa ukubali kwamba serpenti alilaaniwa kwenda kwenye hali ya kutambaa ndipo tutaendelea kujadili. Amen. Amen. Praise is wonderful. Nibariki kwa jina lake la ajabu. Sons of God. Watakatifu wa Mungu. I just want to let you know. Nataka tu niwafahamishe. The greatest restorer. Mrejeshaji mkuu. The God of heaven. Mungu wa mbinguni. Is with us. Yuko pamoja nasi. And he made a promise. Naye ametuahidi. I will restore. Mimi mwenyewe nitarejesha. In In our day, katika siku yetu, he has restored the word. Amerejesha ili neno. Amen. Amen. Back to its origin. Limerudi kuwa kama lilivyokuwa. Hallelujah. Amen. And for that we are so grateful. Na tunashukuru sana kwa jambo hilo. I could talk I could talk to a a a, a, a Bible school student. Ningeweza kuzungumza na mwanafunzi wa chuo cha Biblia. But because of the restored word. Ni, ni kwa sababu ya hili neno tu lilorejeshwa. He couldn't answer me. Ndipo angeweza kunijibu. Not because I'm special. Sio kwa sababu mimi ni mtu maalum. But because God has given up the word in our day. Mungu amerejesha neno kwenye siku yetu. A divine interpreter of the word. Mfasili wa neno la kiungu. And because of that. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo. Branham says. With the revelation of the seals. Na ufunuo wa mihuri tunao. The Bible has become a new book. Ambapo Biblia imekuwa ni kitabu kipya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is this brother? Hii nini ndugu? A new book. Kitabu kipya. Because God has revealed. Kwa sababu Mungu amekifunua. The mysteries to us. Siri zote za kwenye kitabu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you happy tonight? Jem na flajo ni leo. Hallelujah. The word is Hallelujah. back. Hallelujah. Neno limerejeshwa. The word has been revealed. Neno limerejeshwa. The word has been revealed. Neno limerejeshwa. As it was divinely given. Kama lilivyokabidhiwa kiungu. Perfectly given. Tayari nikiwa safi by the apostle Paul. Na mtume Paulo. Restore. Amerejesha. Back to this. Lipo katika hali yake. By the prophet of Malachi. Nani amerejesha Malachi 5? Amen. kitabu from the vision of that book. Kutoka kwenye Reborn open book. Akaenda na kitabu cha funuliwa. 
Is that not in Jefferson Bar? Come to Flannery, those who did it. Mr. Togadina. And the instruction was take the open book and give it to some of the people in the book. Who 